It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Houston Texans. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Houston Texans. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Out comes Deshaun Watson ready to captain the ship here for this Houston offense. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. They start the drive on the ground. It's with this up just shy of the 30. Ready, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Going up the middle, Foster. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Here's Watson. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. The Texans send the punter out. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book 
He's an asset to have in any offense. Now Tomlinson on first and ten. And yeah, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yard alley on that first down run. Here's second and two. Well, again to Tomlinson. Oh, good move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Fouts. Throw left side complete. That's Chandler. And he takes this one down to the 30. That'll be marked as a 27. Offense, I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A little one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So a first and ten now in Houston territory. Down at the 31. From the gun, they give to Tomlinson. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. To throw his fouts. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, <laughs> right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Watson on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack and it brings up second. 
Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. To try again after the sack, Watson. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. On first down, Watson. And Daniels has it over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and two. They run up the middle with Foster. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a first down throw, Watson. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. After the sack on first down, Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. And I think really good defenders can sniff out those screen passes, just something that they can feel, something that they can sense about how the quarterback drops back or how the linemen are just a little slow to block the oncoming rushers. He read it perfectly, got in there, and made the play. And the next-gen stats, they tell the story as he was approaching 19 miles an hour on that one. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the 50, it's Watson. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. The Texans send the punter out. He'll boot it away from about his 35.
And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Fouts. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Tomlinson, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second and eight. Throwing his fouts. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. try and pick it up with Tomlinson and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Nine yards on the pick up there and it keeps the drive alive. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game but this guy is setting the tone early running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. First and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. Again, it's Tomlinson. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Now Fouts. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Brandon, how about that reaction there from a defensive end? Able to recognize the screen pass trying to happen. Broke off his pass rush. And they get back to tackle the running back. That's a very athletic and intelligent play. Reminds me of you working out and seeing that the treadmill's open and getting there before anyone else. See, I know you're just patronizing me right now. Everybody knows at home that that is nothing but a shot at me, and I'll take it, absorb it, and we'll move on. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Fouts to throw. And he's going to get this down near the 25. 
Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Swinging this ball out here to Tomlinson. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, it's Tomlinson. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Looking to throw. And he's going to go down, back at the 27-yard line. He's set. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three. And I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Texans set to come onto the field. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Foster. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Foster on second down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Watson. It's caught right side by Daniels. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. The Texans send the punter out as he's on to kick it away.
Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll go up the gut with Tomlinson. Oh, what a move. 58 yards rushing for him now to this point. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground, Tomlinson. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. On the draw, this is Tomlinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. A give up the middle to Tomlinson. And he'll go down at the 28. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is caught. It's Winslow. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there. 28 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Point after try, forthcoming. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A drive that time of six plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles.
The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're we don't down. Want to. But no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called it I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Now it's second and nine. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Flushed out right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll try the air now with Watson. That's Foster hauling it in over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A give. This is Foster. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Watson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Watson now to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now the Texans are going to call on the field goal unit. This a 31-yard attempt. 
and his kick is indeed good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So that stems the tide just a little, but this still a two touchdown game. And I think that maybe that was a bit of a calming drive for this offense, and that's exactly what they needed. They were able to move the ball. They did some good things. It's still the second quarter, plenty of time to go. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for, but he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. <laughs> I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 90 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. On play action, they'll throw. He finds his man complete. It's Chandler. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They're going to look to throw. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On is the Chargers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. On first and ten, Watson. He finds his man complete. That's Daniels. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Williams. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw, Watson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. A first down carry for Foster. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. From the pistol, it's Foster. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, here's Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. From the 29, Watson. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain.
An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Now it's Watson. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And they'll get this down to the 10. Texans passing game in with them right now, picking up another first. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. To the air yet again, Watson escaping the pressure right. And it is caught. Touchdown, Texans. From 10 yards out. And the Texans go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point attempt here still to come. And it's up through the goal post. It's 17-10. So that one a long 11-play drive, and the result a Houston touchdown. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Chargers are going to take over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there... That could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Fouts. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Fouts. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah. 
Fouts to throw. And he will find Winslow. That's complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. To throw his fouts. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Texans, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. A gain of three, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Tomlinson up the middle. He takes this for three to the 29. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Throwing his fouts. Over the middle complete. That's Chandler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first.
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Fouts. He will find Winslow on the left side complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. They'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Back to throw again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Swinging this ball out here to Tomlinson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. On the handoff, here's Tomlinson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 110 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. On the handoff, Tomlinson. Able to slither, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14.
The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Watson. That one into the hands of Hopkins downfield. And they will end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Watson. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. So a decent game there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, and they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He was looking for Daniels that time, and it's third down and two. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. And Daniels has it over the middle. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Watson now to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Daniels. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And they'll run again. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Texans have got it back to within the score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a proven drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point attempt to follow here. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This one caught by Winslow. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now Tomlinson on the handoff. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go again to Tomlinson. They'll yeah, work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Tomlinson. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll drop to throw. Throw right side, caught by Winslow. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. 
Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. From the gun, they give to Tomlinson. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll look for the first with Tomlinson. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Tomlinson. Down to about the 32. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's second and eight. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to a running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Back to throw. Got an open man, finding Jefferson. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Back to the running game, it's Tomlinson. And he'll be brought down on what's gonna turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Houston, it's Charger football and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. Yeah, go, let's go Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's have some fun, let's get something going now. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Fouts. Gates with a grab. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a first and 10 at the 11. This is Tomlinson. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. 
Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. It's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Here's Fouts. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. A try here for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And now out comes Houston. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. Johnson's got it complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they've got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Going up the middle, Foster. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Throwing on second and eight. Watson, he finds his man complete. That's Daniels. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The offense on third down, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This time they face a third and two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. 
Five yards is the pickup there as that extends his drive. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now it's Watson. Caught left side, Williams. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw again on second down, Watson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, here's Watson. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Now Tomlin set on first and 10. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now a dump off here complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, he's got to be careful with this game where it is, Charles, throwing those out patterns, right? You're exactly right, because this is why we always hear teams say, late in the game, you're trying to close things out. You'll work the middle of the field more than the outside portion, because if you throw one out there that hangs a little bit or you float it, it can be picked off and returned for a touchdown. And boy, what a dramatic turn of events that would be. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now Fouts. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. 
When they need to play on third down, you kind of know what direction the ball is going, but the defense knew it too. Yeah, it's a good call because they wanted to put two men on him, and they did. Dare him to throw into double coverage. Really what you're saying is, let's see if one of your other receivers can beat us. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Houston's offense taking over again, and the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll look to throw here. He finds his man complete. It's Daniels. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. He's a because to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. From the 50, it's Watson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Watson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, Watson. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Back to throw, Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Let's go, 
seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. A shotgun snap for Watson. Again, it's Johnson. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. On fourth down, Watson. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got his big tight end here. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. And that's exactly what they got done. They run up the middle with Foster. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Watson. Screenplay set up for Williams. Touchdown! From three yards out. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. All right, so this one not quite over yet. Back to a two-score game, CD. Yeah, and you've still got four-plus minutes to go, so when you think about comebacks, it's happened before. Now, it hasn't happened often, but you've got to think to yourself, let's be the next great comeback story and play this one out. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Charger offense making their way back out there. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, what a juke into space. And they're able to get this one across the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. To throw his fouts. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Fouts to throw. Throwing left side here and it's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Game of three. Chargers on third down. Six 
conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and seven. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. They stay on the ground. Tomlinson. And he'll get it down here to the 43. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, it's Tomlinson. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. They'll go up the gut with Tomlinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Out of the gun, it's Tomlinson. And a short game here, down to the 22. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Throwing his fouts. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Victory formation, time for the Chargers. They take a knee. <laughs> a 
This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides.